morning. It's Carol Martine welcoming you back to my studio. I thought I'd share a new project that has hit me this week. It niggled, it nudged, my muse stamped her feet and I did it. Since this project, this folded journal, the first one for 2017 is finished, I thought to myself, well, I do like a folded journal. What will I try now? So, here is my mock-up of my journal. I'm a great one for doing dry runs on some computer paper. And I decided to get back to using my Canson XL watercolor pad it's a block, actually, of paper. The paper is very large, as you can tell. It's 18 by 24, 140 pound paper. And my finished folded journal is 12 by 18 inches. Wow, or wowzer, whichever. I just felt as though that working big is something that I needed to do, that I felt like I wanted to do, and I wanted to see what I could do with this large expanse in front of me. So, Canson XL watercolor paper, the pad is 18 by 24, and my finished journal is 12 by 18. So, folding one of those sheets in half gave me my front and back cover. If you'll notice, I did a five hole punch for sewing and my ties on the outside. Then I took a piece of this paper and cut it in half to achieve the next page. If you'll notice this is not quite correct and I did uh, fix this on my in my final journal because I had probably let this paper slide up when I was cutting the holes. So, this paper fits properly in the next journal. The following page has a fold out, or a tip in as many people call it. And then we come to another page. But this one has a folded tip in, which is the good part of another piece of that paper. And this I've learned from doing, and I've made sure that I left a little bit of space between these papers when I attach them. I also remembered that before I did any of this adding of tip ins or fold outs, that I took care of making sure that the edges in the original on the original sheets were trimmed to work together because I found that before that in my innocence I was uh, watching my stair step pages come out because they're certainly not as thin as this uh, copier paper. So this page has this large fold out. Then the book reverses itself, and here is the prior page with the small tip in. Here is the other part of that first one, and the back cover. I gave it time to gel in my mind. I sewed it up. I decided I would do that to be sure. I did a little scotch tape fixing, and I decided okay, this is how I want to work this. So, this is my new folded journal with the five holes, and I added a little bit of decorative stitchery from, uh, threads from my stitchery, but this is the first page, the front and back cover, and as you can see, I have pierced it, 
because I do like working around a, uh, a cutout like this. So here is the second sheet and if you'll notice it fits correctly because I dropped it down a little bit under this hole and it works fairly well down here at the bottom. You'll notice for some reason or another it just snuck up. It seems intentionally trying to do that so that I won't think I'm just too much the cat's whiskers. Here is the next sheet, a rather large one with some more cut out and this I probably won't do cutting like this again because it was um, rather labor intensive but fun doing and here we have the paper with the tip in and as you can notice I need to remember to do a little erasing here and I used washi tape to attach these tip-ins, but not trusting washi tape, I used my glue that I have, this fine line adhesive tech glue, and ran it down under this washi so that it, I would be sure that it would not come out. I did a little geometric cutting on this page. And this, as you can see, is the center, the center spread in this journal. And here is the one with the large, large tip in. Another cut. And here, the large full tip in. Again, when I I need to answer my telephone, I'll be back. Goodness, those unsolicited calls are so annoying. Well, back to my thought. I made sure that I left a little bit of space for ease of folding between this sheet and this one. And then I used my adhesive and I ran a line, a squiggly line, hitting both sides down the two sheets and laid my washi on top of it. And it seems to be nice and tight. So, goodness, I wonder what I'm going to do with that puppy. That's going to be quite a fun challenge. Then, we have the reverse of the front with the short tip in and some piercing more washi, my small addition, and the back cover. What a challenge. I'm thinking, I'm, try oh, I'm trying to convince myself that this is not more than, it, well, that it's just not as scary as I could let it be if my muse started to uh, decide to leave town on me, but it's what I had in my mind to do, and my BFF from the time we were 14 and 16, we always had when we were young girls a, uh, a motto, usually done pinky, if you all are of the generation to know that, and it was, when in doubt, plunge. When I wanted to learn to knit, she decided that I ought to learn on an Aran sweater. Well, she lives in South Florida. I live in North Florida. Problem there was, I couldn't make any mistakes because I really didn't know how to fix them. Needless to say, it was a challenge, but True to our motto of when in doubt plunge, I did. And I think it stuck with me through life. So, this is going to be great fun because I want to combine many types of mixed media. 
and I am going to try to look at the pages not so much as a total page, but as a desire to work in the moment in a certain area. In other words, if I decide to work here and I get very involved and I'm enjoying what I do here, the rest of this is going to have to wait and I can come back to it. As I've been watching uh, some of my very favorite teachers on YouTube, uh, I realized that they often do the same thing and I thought, well, with this big pierced challenge ahead of me, I shall do the same thing because this is a very large piece of paper and if I look at it as working on something that I want to do at the moment and I enjoy it, there is no need for me to worry about taking care of all of that expanse that I can come back and add, particularly on this one. This is the entire original sheet. How will I do that? I can't wait to try. I do hope that you have enjoyed seeing where I'm going to be going. There will be many shared YouTube videos in this new and wonderful booklet. I don't expect that this journal will be finished anytime soon. It's going to probably take me the rest of this year, but I can't wait. And I think the invitation of this piercing on this front page is what is going to push me because I will be able to see through here onto whatever happens to come up here and a little bit under here. Ah, such fun. If you have enjoyed listening to this vlog, please give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, share with a friend, and I would certainly appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel. Let me bring this in a little bit so that you can see a little bit more closely. what I have done. This one. Oh my, won't this be fun? But it's not only fun on this side. That piercing comes through on this very wide three-page spread. Am I going to look at it as just this area? Am I going to look at it as these two sheets or this one, including this piercing? Such fun. Bye now.